Mike Yastrzemski, kind enough to take some time with us this morning on MLB Central. Mike, hello to you. Thanks for joining us. How cold is it? I see, I see the beanie going. <laughs> Uh, it was, uh, it's an oversight. I think uh, <laughs> I expected it to be a little colder, but uh, you know us New Englanders are always prepared. There you go. There we go. Well, was just talking about the pageantry of opening day and how if he's honest, he wanted to get in the routine. He didn't love it. How do you feel about it? Uh, I agree with that. You know, I like getting into a routine, get here early, and uh, just kind of get your mind right. And uh, especially when you're in a place like this where there's going to be a lot of energy, <laughs> it'll be really fun. So you just got to be locked in. Mike, how about packing up and leaving spring training? Because we're out in Arizona, and now we, we have two trucks. I assume one's going to San Fran. Then we're loading up a truck to go to the airport to go to New York. So this is quite the pack job right here to start the year in New York. Then we're going to hit Chicago on the way back home mm -hmm. before you get back to uh, your home park. Yeah, well, we had the Bay Series for a couple of days, too. So we went AZ to SF, come out to New York. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, I think we're going to be the most traveled team in the league this year. And I think we're up for it. You know, we do. We have such a great travel team here that that takes care of us and make sure that everything runs as smooth as possible. So, you know, big shout out to those guys. Mike, what did you want coming out of opening day? I always used to say, I just want to drive home with a batting average today. <laughs> something, <laughs> something on the radar for the people. What are you trying to get yeah, out of today? That, that, that would be nice. Uh, honestly, just hit a couple balls hard. Uh, just kind of get, get right into rhythm with the game. And, you know, we've been working for six weeks to try and get our feet under us. Now it's time to go out there and kind of leave it all out there. And you can't leave it all out there if you don't start today. Mike, what do you, what do you make of the, of the new rule changes, yeah. especially you being a left-handed hitter? What do you think it's going to feel like not seeing 12 guys on the one side of the infield? <laughs> Uh, you know, I say that this is probably the year that I start hitting line drives right at the shortstop the other way. <laughs> but because uh, that, you know, that that's how baseball is. You know, it's just it's one of those things that uh, that's kind of how it happens. But no, it'll it'll be fun to see how it plays out. Hopefully, it puts uh, a little more juice in the offense and creates some more runs and more opportunities for hits. And uh, it, it seemed that way so far in spring. So hopefully, it'll translate to to the season. Your experience with the pitch clock in spring was what? Uh, it, it took a little bit to get used to. Um, it's, you know, it's it's kind of hard to throw a pitcher off their rhythm if they're if they're really on and they are pitching on the same number every single time, and there's no way to really slow them down or speed them up. So you just got to find some other ways. You know, maybe you throw down some bunts. Maybe you do end up calling your one time out at some point halfway through. But um, it's going to be a learning curve still, even for the first probably month of the season until we really figure some things out. I saw you talking on a spring training broadcast with Kipe, and I think it was Hunter Pence, and you talked about adjustments you made coming into this season. Can you tell us what they are? Um, yeah, you know, one of those things is I just want to go back to being more of a pure hitter. You know, uh, the last couple of years I've hit some homers, and it's it's kind of been nice for a little bit of time, but I'd like to spray the ball around the field a little bit more this year and have some more consistency. So, you know, whether that be with mechanical adjustments or with a mental approach, um, you know, I've made a little bit of adjustment to both of them so far, but hopefully they'll uh, they'll come into play so we can be getting more hits all year round. I'm glad you brought the mental approach into it because I think that uh, most hitters that are in the game have swung the bat kind of the way they've swung the bat now since they were 10 years old. What kind of a thought process when you talk about the mental side of it? How do you kind of attack that? Do you tell yourself something maybe a little bit different at bat to at bat? Where's the mental part play into this? I think the mental part plays into understanding what success actually is. You know, you, you can't worry about all the guys out on the field. You can only worry about what happens before you make contact. And as long as I'm putting the, the barrel on the ball and hitting the ball hard, then I've won that at bat. And so understanding that that's a win versus understanding that, you know, a double in the gap is the only way to win, um, it's, it's hard to – kind of get through the season that way. There's a lot of ups and downs, but if you're only focused on making good contact and hitting the ball hard, then there's a lot more success out there. Mike, the only way you're going to have good contact is if you get a good breakfast in. <laughs> All right? You got a day game. You got Garrett Cole throwing 100 miles an hour. What did we put yeah, in the a, tank? What a way to wake up, huh? <laughs> Let's go. What'd you eat? Yeah, uh, I went with a, uh, a breakfast sandwich. One uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah. Had to throw a donut in there, you know, mm -hmm. like, why not? You got to get a little sugar in there, get your energy up. A uh, little, little cold brew, 
and uh, and then some fruit. I, I went a little healthy. I had some fruit this morning, right. you know. That's right. Play for the tie. Yeah, I like where it sounds, sounds like exactly. a two for three with a yeah. walk. There we go. Guess who's not having a donut? There we Gabe go. Kapler. Does he still have a, a plate of bacon? For breakfast, yeah, he's probably got he's probably got a steak this morning. You know, it's game day. He's he's ready to go. Yeah, very, very rare, cooked it <laughs> rare, rare. Hey, yeah, Mike, for thank, sure. Thank you very much for joining us. Best of luck today and good luck this season. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.